show you how we trade today's volatile market on a direct access system. I'm going to do a little demo um, a little bit later in this presentation. I only got about 50 minutes. So I am going to talk a little bit about what this is, how we do these live trades, show you that you have been trading blind your whole time. You have a brokerage firm that's trading against you. You know what? If you really want to know the truth about short squeezing, I'm going to answer it in a little bit, just in the next few moments um, after I do a quick little intro, because the thing is this, most people fail because they don't have the right education. Most people will fail because they just don't have the right tools or anything else. Well, now it's time to stop that. Now it's time to kind of take that, uh, take that matter into different hands here. So let me just bring back the PowerPoint and let me tell you what we're going to be learning. Uh, Carl says, I love working from home, save on gas and time and stress, you know, and money, you know, like I live here in New York. So it's, let me tell you, this is like one of the most expensive places to live to get a cup of coffee costs you about $7. All right. Imagine trying to go out to lunch. It's just, it's just, it's just a better quality of life to work from home. You could do your gardening. You could work on your cooking and you know what? You don't got to do this all day. And you're going to see it. But this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the challenges, um, you know, the world of H, uh, high frequency trades and algorithms. I'm going to talk about level two and level three. I'm also going to mention level four trading. Uh, like Jonathan mentioned to you earlier, we're going to talk about high frequency trades. I'm going to talk about iceberg orders. I'm also going to talk about entries and exits. And, uh, you know, it, it sounds like a lot, but you know what? It's really not. It's really not. And one thing I always tell everybody, if this is the first time that you logged in, you are going to be so depressed and hurt and just like disgusted what you're about to see because some of you are going to be, be like, wow, why did no one ever teach me this from the beginning? Why did nobody, uh, you know, why didn't I learn this from the beginning? And I'll tell you why. It all starts by you making the effort. And by you being here, that is the beginning of hopefully going to change your life. Now, what I'm looking to do at the end of my presentation is I'm looking to train people to be part of my team, okay? So if you're somebody likes what you see and you want to know the real truth about trading and you want to know exactly and you want to do it as a career, then I'm going to give you that opportunity. But I don't want you to waste my time or your time if this is not for you. Now, uh, a couple of quick facts about CyberTrade University. Um, I've been featured on NASDAQ, you know, which is <laughs> very rare. They don't allow pretty much anyone on there unless you're like the big cahoots of a, a real big company or whatever. But they know what I teach, and that's what I'm going to talk about today, something NASDAQ uh, called NASDAQ Total View, okay? Um, this is like was one of the last days that before they shut down uh, the NASDAQ Center because of COVID. But um, – just to give you a little history about who I am, if you haven't read it up, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm one of the original Souls Bandits that started. I had, you know, living in New York, I was trained by the best traders in the world. Now, you might not like New Yorkers or whatever. You might not like Wall Street. I get it. I get it. And that's fine. You know what I mean? I don't like them either. <laughs> okay. I really don't. Um, I think they're sleazy. I think what they do is, you know, they, they, could, they could take down countries. You know, if they want to, you saw what they did with GameStop. Let me tell you something. I, I, I think it was a complete setup, honestly, what I think, okay? I think it was set up to taking these guys down. They just, you know, because somebody eventually is going to get hurt. They got endless money. If GameStop went to 2000, they could still crush you, okay? They got the money. So the thing is this. I didn't like being part of that. And I said, you know what? But I love the industry. It pays a lot of money. So- if you can't beat them, you join them, right? You learn their secrets. You know what they're doing. But th what happened was I wanted to go on my own. The only way you could do that is you have to train people to train like market makers. And I'm going to talk about the tools that they use that you're going to use. I'm going to invite all of you guys to see it live, okay? But to be, to be good at anything, if it's sports, if it's being a doctor, if it's being a plumber, if it's you know, being a teacher, you have tools. And to be good at that, you got to have mentors. So if anybody here thinks they're going to go out there and trade and think you're going to sit here and try to say, hey, thanks for telling me. Now let me go out and do it. Do yourself a favor. You're going to end up losing all your money and probably more than that. Trading is a very high risk, you know, 
Uh, and you could lose everything. And I'm putting that warning up to you right now because it really is. So you got to make sure you know what you're getting yourself involved in. And the key is you got to learn from a little bit from everyone to be very good at it. Now, um, you know, learning is very important. And what's great about this photo right here, you could see that these people are just like you. So please don't feel like you don't feel like, oh, am I really qualified to do this? Listen, I don't care if you could read, you can't read. As long as you can add, you could figure out trading, okay? Believe me, it's not that complicated. It's really not. Now, I want to talk about some of the stocks that are moving, okay? Let's talk about the stock market, for example. How many of you guys here wish that you sold in February and bought back in March, okay? I mean, it's really where it comes down to it. Why did it go down? We know why it went down. We know this whole COVID thing. And, you know, listen, I've been through this several times. I've been through it, the financial, uh, the internet bubble back in 2000, the financial crisis, 9-11, uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy. I can go on and on and on. Um, you know, now we're talking about COVID. These are things that happen every eight years. But guess what? You don't got to wait another eight years. It happens every day. But you got to know how to play the game to be very successful in trading. You got to know who's buying it, who's selling it. It's not about support and resistance. It's not about some stupid Fibonacci chart. It's not about some heat map, okay? It's about following the money, okay? How do FBI agents, you know, uh, 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 bust drug dealers and the mafia? They follow the money. How do people, you know, um, get in trouble with tax evasion. They follow the money, okay? How do you follow to be successful in trading? You follow the money. It's as simple as that. Now, let's get started. I have a poll question I want to do first before we get started. So just give me a second. Um, just want to share this poll. Let me. I, I want to just get to know a little bit about everyone. Can you tell me, are you a stock trader, options trader, futures, forex? You'll see that there is a little poll question that's coming up on your screen right now. Kerry, you're a newbie. That's great. Don't worry about it. I'd rather you be new than have bad habits, okay? Let me just get, uh, let me just see where you guys are at with this. Okay, so let me let you, let you know a little bit about myself. I'm an actual day trader. I'm a stock trader. I like it because I get to sleep at night. Uh, I don't have to work. I, I mean, I do swing trading, okay? I, I run my own IRA. My, I, I'm not going to give to somebody else to do it. What, for them to lose me money? I could do it myself. Um, I do do a little options. I don't do Forex or commodities. Um, we do have other presenters that will talk about it. But I just like the stock market because you hear about it every day. You turn to the TV, they talk about it every day. I live here in New York. It's the financial capital of the world. This is what we do all day, okay? And it's honestly pretty much the easiest thing to trade. Now, you know, we keep talking about COVID. You know, that's like the new biggest crisis. Reddit, what about what's going on with Bitcoin, okay? Now, I know everybody's saying, hey, what about Bitcoin? You know, what's going on? Listen, there's a lot of stocks you could trade in the market like Bitcoin. Look what happened to uh, Riot. This stock... If you look at the long-term chart, let me get my little pointer right here so you guys can follow along. Okay, here you go. You see my little dot right here? So you can see how this stock literally was, I don't know, $3 back in March. And then it ran to 20. The thing already ran to $84. Okay? So when you're thinking about like, oh my God, you know, look at TLRY, the pot stocks, or, you know, um, you know the market went from 18000 to 31000 They're there every day. GameStop. They're there every day. But why did it go up? Who ran it up? Is it the news? Is it, is it what you read on, you know, Benzinga, whatever it is? It's about following the money, okay? Remember, it's not about supply and demand. You know, I mean, it's not about support and resistance level. It's about supply and demand that run them up. Now, is there going to be more like this? Absolutely. First thing people always ask me, is how did you find Riot? Now, is anybody here subscribed to my YouTube channel or, um, you know, my Twitter feed or whatever it is? Because um, if you go back, I mean, I do, we do about, we, I got about close to, I probably have over a thousand videos on YouTube, believe it or not. And, 
you probably, some of you found me and I say, hey, how did you find Riot? How did you know that before it went there? Because we were trading Riot before the news got out. I don't have a crystal ball, okay? I use like what you saw in Benzinga. I use what we use on the level three and level four. I use the big percentage gainers. I use a lot of tools that your brokerage firm give you that you're probably not using. I just see a pattern of an industry that moves. And it's just a matter of time where there's smoke, there's fire. And then the more, the, and the more fuel it gets through advertisement, as in people start talking about TVs, you hear analysts talking about it, more people gear to it and they more run to it. That's what basically what happened with GameStop. But the number one place where we look is, um, is right here, basically right through the big percentage gainers and losers. I don't have a crystal ball, like I told you. I don't care. You know, all I care about is making money. That's it. Nothing personal, nothing, nothing where I am just here to make money. Ask me what this stock, L-O-D-E, why is it up 149%? I don't care. I don't want to know. It doesn't matter. All I'm looking to do is make my day's pay, okay? So what we do is cyber, here at Cybertrain University, which a lot of you don't do, is we, we, we focus on the pre-market. We watch all these brokerage firms jumping in positions where you guys are putting orders not knowing where you're going to get it until 9.30, we see what they're doing. It's no secret. It's public information. You just, your brokerage firm won't let you. So if you think, uh, if you guys want to see what pre-market trading is all about, when at the end of the presentation, when you come join my room, you'll see what we mean. Now, you know, th th there's news that comes out. There's signals out there. They all work out great. Um, and this just adds fuel to the fire. But the key is this. You're here to make money and you can't trade everything. What you want to trade is something that's going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Now, um, I just want to do a quick poll again and want to know what kind of broker do you have? Okay, so I'm just going to put this chat up there. Do you have a direct access broker or an online broker? Let me see how you guys answer this question. Now, as you guys are answering that question, um, I'm just going to minimize this really quick. Could you guys tell me uh, in the chat room, do you guys even know what a direct access broker is? Do you even know what a, what a direct access broker is? I'm just going to bring this up right here. Hold on. As you guys are writing this up. No, 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 no. You heard about it? Okay. Not really? Okay. Watch what I'm about to show you right now. And watch how blind you've been trading. What I got up here and running, I just want to show you. I got a chart, which obviously is really worthless right now, okay? What I want you to focus on is this. This is called NASDAQ Total View. This is what's called an ECN. This allows us to have a seat on the exchange. We could see who's out there, who's buying it, and who's selling it, how many shares, how many orders are out there, and at what price, okay? This right here is called a direct access system. I have a seat on the exchange, and I can compete against Goldman, Merrill, Shearson. I can see everything, what they're doing, everything. How do you not want that information? Watch what happens. I'm going to use the NASDAQ technology. I'm going to go on the NASDAQ market, on the floor of the NASDAQ exchange. And I'm going to trade something very slow so you guys can see what's going on. You see right here on the bottom, let me get this up. Let me, maybe this will help you out. Let me just draw something here. You see this right here? Okay, see NASDAQ right there? Okay. I want you to look right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place an order out there. I want to put a limit order, buy 100 shares on NASDAQ, and I'm going to go out there and buy it at um, $5.07, okay? Actually, six cents. You see this guy? There's somebody out there right here. You see it says there's one order for 500 shares on the right. You see this guy? That's him right there. Now, watch when I click buy. Do you notice how it turned to six? 506, you see that guy right there? That's Fausto Puglisi. Watch this. You see I have my order out there? Watch this when I click cancel. 
boom, gone. Do you see how it just dropped? It just disappeared? Where did Fausto go? That is called direct access. Now, you tell me, how much money would you save if you were able to put orders out there, see them out there, compete against everybody else, knowing why did you really get that stock, knowing you're out there? I'll do it again, by the way. Let me do it again. Um, New York Stock Exchange, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to bid up to 507. You see over here on the right, it says 505. Watch what happens. 507, 100 shares. Boom. You see that right there? Less than a fraction of a second. There's Fausto right now. 100 shares. One order for 507. Click cancel. Boom. Disappeared. Wow, that was pretty quick. Let's do that again. Uh oh, somebody's out there um, bidding it down, so I would end up buying it. Uh, let me try a different stock. I really don't want to buy the stock. I just want to show you what orders look like. Uh, let me show you something a little bit slower. Oh, this one's pretty good. I-T-A-C-W, okay? Uh, the highest bid somebody wants to buy it is $1.75. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to bid uh, 76. I'm going to be the highest bidder out there, the highest bid, okay? So I'm going to click buy. There's Fausto, boom. Cancel, gone. How did that look like to you? Any questions? Any questions? That is the power of direct access. That is the power that you've been trading blind. Think about how much money you would save just by knowing if you can put orders and get out there. How come you're buying on the bid? Wasn't it taken out immediately? No, Mitch, I did a limit order. I went out there and I negotiated to buy the stock at that price. When you put a limit order, you got to ask yourself, where did that order go? And who actually is executing? Where is it? Is it in La La Land? Where is it? You, this is basically a direct access to the exchange. This is allowing you to become a market maker in a specific stock. Uh, Kerry, regarding about what platform it is, it's irrelevant. You have to ask yourself, do you have a direct access firm? Yes or no account. That is what, that's going to show everything and answer it. Okay. You could do this during pre-market. Yes, you can, Michael. All right, so let me get back. Let me get back to the slides because I don't want to waste too much time here. Um, by the way, was that impressive? Was that like pretty cool? Think about that. You just seen a real live order in the real market. Try to do that with, with I don't know, fidelity. Try to do that with you know uh, Schwab or whatever. You can't. You can't. When I saw that, I was sold because remember before. You know, I was a trader. I was a civilian like you. I didn't know that you could actually have a seat on the exchange. I didn't know you could actually go out there and place bids and offers. I, that now it makes sense to me because you got to remember brokerage firms are trading against you. When you do a trade, they see what you want to buy and sell. And guess what? Do you really think they're buying and selling it without them making money on it? It's called algorithms. They know all the algos that are out there. Well, that's how you're going to change things for the better. Um, what about the platforms? Um, no trading charge. You know, Carl, that's a great question. Did, ask yourself that same question. How do you think brokerage firms make money? How do you make money? Do you work for free? Okay. I was just talking to somebody on the other phone. He was a teacher. And I said, hey, we all love teaching, right? But do you get paid to go to school? Does somebody pay you? You know, uh, anything. Nobody works for, could you please tell me where I could find a free employee that will work for me, for, give me his heart and soul working 40 hours a week? Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Okay. There's nothing for free. And there's a reason why they do it for free. They're trading against you. So, Let's talk about having the right platforms and so on. So let me go into great detail with you. First of all, for some of you here, trading is not a full-time job, okay? We only trade the first hour of the open and the last hour of the close. We do some pre-market trading. And I'm going to invite every single one of you to come in my trading room, and I'll show it to you right here. Uh, this is our live trading room right here. So basically, you're all going to have access. You could see, like Andrea right here, one of our gold students, uh, he's just uh, trading on the spike on MKTS. 
Uh, you can see all, these are all traders. I'm going to invite all of you to see these people trading in today's volatile markets. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about that later. But um, but the thing is, trading is not a full time job. You know, we make most of our money in the morning, and then we just pick up after that. Now. Buying and selling, that is the ultimate question. Remember, I want you to remember, because I'm going to sound like a broken record. It's about buying. Uh, it's about buyers and sellers. It's not about support resistance levels. So let's talk about level three, which I call, which is book viewer. Okay. Now, um, I'm just going to do a quick poll. Uh, this is the results from before. And if you guys saw that, you can see that there's not a lot of you that trade direct access. Uh, let me do another poll right here. So does anybody here have level three? Let me do a quick poll on that. Let me see if you guys can answer that question. Let me see how you guys, uh, if you have it or not. You just saw it, what it looks like. And by the way, for, you know, for compliance purposes, I'm just telling you right now, please do not buy anything or use anything that, that I'm showing you unless you're going to let us teach you how to use it. You'll end up making more harm than good. I'm just telling you right now. Okay. All right. So let me end the poll. Let me share it with everybody. Okay. So it looks like a lot of you don't have it. And if you don't know what it is, you're obviously trading blind. Okay. So I'll take that as a no. Level three is what I just showed you. It gives you direct access to have a seat on the exchange. When I first, if you wanted to get a seat on the exchange at the New York Stock Exchange, it cost you about, I don't know, about seven, $8 million. Now you could do it for $15. Okay. So what we're going to be looking at is two very important things. When you trade a stock, you want to know where the buyers are and where the sellers are. That is what makes support and resistance levels. So right here, you could see that, you know, the left of the buyers and the right of the sellers. That's what we want to look at. We want it. There's a lot of numbers out here, right? It's, it gets a little confusing, but the thing is, you want to be able to see, you know, where what we call, which you heard Jonathan telling you from Benzinga, we want to look for the iceberg orders, the big block orders. That is what makes supports and resistance levels. So let me reiterate what we got. Looking at a stock AMC, right? Everybody knows AMC, all right? B big stock in the news, all right? So AMC, you could see it took a little bit of a dive. It, it went from $7, and you could see less than an hour, it dropped, tanked, stopped exactly at $7, I mean $5.75. Why $7? Why, why $5.75? Why? Why not? Why did it stop at six? Why didn't it go back to three? Why specifically it picked? $5.75. Oh, I know why it's a whole number. Oh, it's quarters. Oh, it's because uh the, the 200 moving average crosses over with the with the with the with the RSI. And then now listen, you could you could keep telling yourself that. All right. It has nothing to do with that garbage. It has to do with the guy right there that wants to buy 111,000 shares, you know, at 775. $5.75. I'm sorry. Okay. It's all about, and that's right, Joe, supply and demand. Right there is what we call a demand. Think about it. You really think I'm, I, I want to follow this, these nine people out there um, that make up 3,000 shares at $5.87? You really think that's a support level? Come on. AMC is trading millions and millions and millions of shares. OK, this is the guy I want to watch. And guess what? When it came to that guy, what did he end up doing? It bounced. All right. You see, that is not what we call support. That is what we call demand. That's where it comes down to it. Now, let's talk about a ceiling. OK, let's talk about a resistance levels. Let's talk about sellers. F sell. Great stock, great movement, regardless. I don't care about the news. I don't want you to know, oh, yeah, I had this in my swing trade. Oh, I sold too cheap. I don't care about that right now. What I care about is as a day trader, when you buy, when you trade from 930 and you say, Fausto, how in the hell you guys are done at 10 o'clock? This is why. Because you could see how the stock went from $27 to $29. 
you bought a thousand shares of that stock, that's a two thousand dollar profit. It's a hell of in less than what fifteen minutes. That's a hell of a lot more money than a damn stimulus check that you've been waiting for six months. Okay, but how do we know when to get out? Well, remember, you can't look at the past. I love people that talk about the past. Oh, resistant, look at the. Listen, you have to look at the future. You want to predict the future in trading? The way you do that is you got to look where people are, are, uh, are projecting to get out of their positions. And looking over here on the right-hand side, when we look at the NASDAQ platform, we can see that, oh my God, there's a 54 share. Who the hell is going to take a 54 shares seriously? But you know what? When you're looking down this whole list, at $28.99, you have 120,000 share sellers sitting out there. Not a one share, not a 200 share. You're talking about 120,000. You're telling me you're going to question and think, oh, but the Green New Deal and, you know, oh, FCL has been such a terrible. I don't care what, you're, what anyone is telling you, okay, in that little mind of you. And please don't take it. Don't, don't, don't mind if I'm a little brash. I just hate to see people who move money and have these excuses to try to explain to themselves and convince themselves that they lost money, you know, and it's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay. You're not in the business to lose money. You have to be a smart trader to understand what's going on. And if you knew that there was 120,000 shares seller out there, you would have got out at $29, not $27.40. So people are like, oh, why is it going down? Did news come out on it? Or what was my indicator telling me? Oh, let me check the guy who gave me the, the newsletter on that stock. You know, it's nothing to do with it. And you're like, oh, I can't find any news. You won't find the news. Somebody just wanted you to get out. Some, maybe a hedge fund, maybe it could be, you know, uh, Warren Buffett, who knows who it could be, but that guy wanted to get out. And guess what? You could see that. Think about this for a second. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you make if you were able to see those orders? Think about that for a second. Would, wouldn't that make things so much easier? If we knew that we were coming up to a big, big seller out there and knowing he has it out there. When I saw this, I fell off my chair. And I'm like, how could anybody even like consider doing this? Like without this tool. And back then when I traded, you know, um, when I started out, to get this data was like $1,000 a month. Now, imagine a 22-year-old kid 25 years ago uh, had to pay $1,000 a month for that. I'm like, that's a lot of money. They're like, hey, son, you want to make a quarter million plus? Nothing's free in this world. You want the right tools? You got to pay for it. Well, guess what? Guess what it costs now? It doesn't cost $1,000 a month. It costs $15 a month. Does anybody have a problem? paying $15 a month to see where 70 to 80% of the buyers and sellers are? Anybody have that problem? Mike, what about you? I didn't hear from you. John, Greg, Bill, Lucy, you have a problem paying $15 a month to get to see where 70% of the volume is? Because if you do got a problem, you probably should quit trading right now. You should. I mean, listen, I know a lot of people like free stuff and, you know, they love their free tickets. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to do more harm than good. Absolutely not. Right. You know, it's it, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't be a problem. It pays a lot of money. You got to know how to play the game. Now, I'm going to tell you guys how to get this for nine dollars a month. OK, because I want to show you not only to see this data, but I want to be able to teach you live in the market so you could see it black and white. So you could actually see something actually saying, okay, Fausto, this looks good, makes sense, but could you prove it to me? And I will. 
I will. Okay. I personally guarantee it. All right. Because I would rather you trade smarter, you know, and having the right tools than trading blind. Now, um, I'm gonna let's have a little fun. You guys ready to have a little fun? Let's have a little fun here. Okay. Um, hold on. Stop sharing. Okay. Can you guys tell me, uh, is this stock going up or down? We're looking at Nikola, stock that we've been trading, fun stock. Uh, Michael, well, do you take my word for it? Good. Well, you got about, give me about 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's see if you, listen, if you can't answer this question, you seriously should quit trading. You seriously can't. I mean, there's no reason why anybody here does not go in the chat, uh, go in the poll and answer this. Okay. Guess if you have to. Come on, there's over, there's a few over, uh, there's a, over 100, 200 people in here. Don't be shy. Answer the question. No, listen, at Cyber Training University, we don't teach you how to make money, we teach you how to stop losing it. So how are you going to know how to make money if you don't know how to stop doing it? Answer the question and just go on the poll and just say, is the stock going up or going down? All right. So I can't help everyone. So let's just, you do what we got here. Okay. So we do got about, obviously, 94% of you said it's going to go down. 6% is going to go up. So if you said it was going to go up, okay, right off the bat, for the ones that said it's going to go up, um, from what you could see from this image alone, I'm just telling you right now, quit trading. I, I don't understand why you think the stock is going up. I don't know what your ideology was or your, your reasoning for it, but the stock is really going down. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just trying to save you some money. All right. So for the ones that said it's going to go up, you just passed kindergarten. No disrespect. Okay. Now the next question is this, we want to get to the next level. What is going to make the stock go up? For the ones that said it was going down, we know the stock's not going to zero, which could happen. You know, I've seen it happen. But what do we need the stock to go up? Just put in a chat room. We need a demand, right, Michael? Carrie, we need buyers. We need buy. We don't need a tweet from Elon Musk. No, no. <laughs> I guess uh, Nicola would, would like that being in the car industry. Um, we need buyers. We need buyers. Now, does that seem hard? Now, my question to you is this. Where do we find the buyers? Watching on TV? Was it come from the sky? Where, where do we find buyers? Where do we see them? Oh, level three, right, Leanne and, and Michael? Um, see, I love, this is what I'm looking for. I love the idea you guys are chatting because this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people that can, can that are, could be um, that could add to the trading. I'm looking for people that could get it and give content. Those are the people I want to trade, teach. I'm sorry. Now we need buyers. So we need level three. Let's go hop on level three. So the buyers are on the left hand side. Okay. And I'm working my way down. Now you'll notice a lot of numbers. It's a lot of noise, a lot of garbage. Um, it's showing you every single person at every penny price level. But I'm looking at the big block orders, not the 200s, not the 300s, not even the 3,000. Right here, there's a 110,000 share buyer at $22.29. Without looking at anything right off the bat, without looking at anything, I could confidently say $22.29 is a support level. Without even saying, without even thinking twice. because. What else is going to make a support level? It's the big block orders. It's the iceberg orders out there. So look at the chart. It hit 29.30, went back up to 29.70. Hit 29.30, went back up uh, to 29.2.70. Uh, Came back down for literally an hour. Hit 29.30, tw hit it, hit it, hit it. Ne didn't want to break it. Just kept hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. Eventually, the thing just said, all right, enough's enough. That guy probably says, you know what? You guys ain't selling to me. I'll just execute the offer. And maybe that, and that's probably explains why the stock went from 2230 right up to 2310. You do the math. I mean, what is that? Almost a dollar on a thousand shares. 
on that one stock. I mean, you could have made literally almost a thousand bucks. Would you rather do that? Or would you like to still wait for that stimulus check? Okay. Or would you still want to wait for that phone call or when you're going to do at work? I mean, does that, can I ask everybody a dumb question? Does that seem hard? Did I lose anybody? Did I lose anyone? Michael, how do we know what got filled? That's a great question. Time and sales. Okay. Time and sales. We're going to get there. So let's eliminate everything. All these crazy things that are moving, right? Let's look at everything. Let's just look at this. If you were looking at this, at this stock HAL, can you tell me where would you be focused on selling it? Let me see if you guys, um, let me see if you guys can answer this question. Where would you be focused on selling it? If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I'm just looking at the chat. Uh, DD, you forgot a, you forgot a number. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So if we own the stock, we want to know whether everybody else is selling the stock, right? So we got to look at the sell side. Okay. So on the right-hand side, uh, right here, the sell orders. Okay. And if you'll notice that there is a 66,000 share seller at 2450. Now, without looking at any chart, without looking at any news, without looking at the TV, without right off the bat, looking at all the buyers and sellers, that guy is probably 20 to 30 times more looking to be sold at that specific price than any other stock out there at any price level. So when you look at this stock, you're like, oh, the stock's going up. It's got a nice trend. Well, if you notice in the past hour, it's having a tough time breaking it. And you're like, I don't understand. It's got a double top, a triple bottom. It's got uh, uh, 10 green candlesticks. I, I, I still don't understand that. I, I see people do it all the time. It has nothing to do about the candlesticks, the wick. The, the double tops, the triple bottoms, the, the, the teacup rules. Yeah, you, you keep telling yourself that. I'm telling you this. The only reason why it's not going down is because that big iceberg order is out there for 66,000 shares. And you can keep telling you that because if you didn't get out, the stock came right back down to 24. Just blew your nice little profit. Is that what you want? Let me ask you something. You ever feel that whenever you trade that you feel like somebody's watching you. Like every time you buy it, you feel like every time I buy it, the damn thing goes down. And every time I sell it, it goes up. It's like, I feel like I can't do anything right. Anyone ever have that problem? All the time? Yes. <laughs> I feel like that. I felt like that all day long, Joe. Joe. Okay, well, can I be honest with you? Nobody's watching you. Um, other than if you're dealing with an online broker. The problem that you're having is you're not watching them. That is your problem. And that's where the light bulbs should kick in. They're like, wow, it makes perfect sense. If I just saw where they were at, maybe I would do the same. Why not? That is why, you know, that's how you become a very good trader or do what everyone else does. Watch YouTube videos. So anyway, um, guys ever watched the movie, the Titanic know the story. So I came up with the word iceberg order, uh, after watching the movie, the Titanic, and we all probably know what the movie, the Titanic, they hit an iceberg and then all those wonderful people died. Um, the thing with the Titanic is that it's not what's it, on an iceberg. It's not what's on top of the water. It's what's on the bottom of the water. You see the size of this thing. And that really is what it really looks like. You know, so if the Titanic had the right tools and the right bells and whistles, those people would probably be alive today, but they're not. They're more concerned about the beauty of the ship, like how most people are so focused on the beauty of the platform and how gorgeous and sexy it looks and, you know, and all this glittering and the, the, oh, it has nothing to do with that. Do you realize that 80% of what they give you on a platform is worthless? It's just window dressing. 
I don't even use half the stuff. And the stuff that you're supposed to be using, you don't even have it on. That's what trading is because they're trying to, and the purpose of that is, and in their defense, they're trying to appease everybody, the swing trader, the, uh, the day trader, the options trader, the cryptocurrency trader, the futures trader, all of them. That's really why they do that. Now, the question I always get that some people are asking me, Fausto, I heard of these orders, but how do we know they're not fake? How do we know that they're getting executed? How do we know that? Well, there's something called time and sales. A lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. And like I used it, it moves too fast. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Well, it is a very important window that gives us the confirmation of the transaction to take place. So if there's a trade that's going on, if we see an order out there, this window is going to tell us the guy's getting executed or he canceled. And it's nice because we also have them segregated in two colors where green means orders on the offer getting executed and red if they're on the bid getting executed. Okay. So that, that also helps us up a little bit. And by the way, a chart gets its data from time and sales. Okay. Now, here you have a stock SRNE. Big, big buyer right here, $17, 110,000 share buyer. So in theory, you would say definitely a support level, right? Definitely, that is where it should stop. Unfortunately, it went past 17. How is that even possible? Well, guess what? Somebody sold it to that guy. And yeah, that could happen. Look at the time in sales. 17, 17, 17, 17, red, 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 1,000, 12, 1,200, 5,000, 19,000, 5,000, 1,000. The guy got executed. And look at it. Look at the time. Within seconds, somebody just sit there and probably hit the button. You just say, hit that guy, get out of it, boom. And guess what? That stock went from $17 down to 11 like that. How terrible would that be to be in a stock and be like, I don't understand why the stock went down so fast because there was a lot of buyer out there. And then after that, there was nobody there. 100, 200. It is very simple for somebody to come in and dump another 50,000 and just crush the stock. You see, you have to follow the money. And if you don't, and you know, like there was a trade today I did with my traders. Um, and there was a huge buyer in the stock. What was the stock that I traded? Uh, it was a SL, uh, was it SD, uh, SLDK, was it? There was a, a 500,000 share buyer. It was one of the pot stocks, one of the, grow, the growing stocks. And, I, and I, I went out there. I bought a big block of stock out there. I said, you know what? It was a major support level. Guess what? Buyer got executed, got out within, I don't know, within a minute, stock dropped down another 15 points, 15 cents. Now, you know, like, like that, you have to, it was, yes, that's right, Michael. It was SNDL. SNDL was, was the price. I think it's up there. We'll look it up there. SNDL. SNDL. Yeah. Right here. Huge buyer. I'm just going to bring this up so you guys can see it. Oops. Um, right here. There was a huge buyer right here. Right there. And then the guy got executed. And thank God I got out. Look where it dropped down to. A buck 56. Um, I don't even have it here on the level four. I can't even show you. SNDL. I'm just going to see if I can bring it up on a... My level four. Uh, just see if it's loading. I'm loading it up. Yeah, I can't load it up. I'm trying to bring it up here. Can't load it up. The data went a little bit back too far. But um, but I but I will show you with something right here. Any of you guys ever heard of level four before? Look at this. Here's a stock that we traded WNW. At 9.30, the stock went from 17.60, right? In less than 30 minutes, it ran all the way up to 24 bucks. 
huge winner, right? <laughs> Look where it is now. It's back to 17. How is that even possible? You see this little heat map right here? You see this little level right here? Look at this. There was literally a, um, how many shares was that? That was literally like, he's still out there. There's 26,000 share seller right there, okay? And then another seller came out. And then another one, and another one. Look at these orders, 25, 25, 25. And they're still out there. It was because of that guy it went down, not because some stupid um, MACD told you that. You got to follow the money, fellow traders. That's what it comes down to it. And if you didn't, you would have been crushed. Okay? So anyway, what you just seen, that's level four. You think level three is cool? Wait till you tell my trading room. I get to level four. I'm really going to fall off your chair on that one. All right. So we got about a couple of minutes here. Here's an example of Riot. Um, here's an example. Stock goes up and stops right here. You can see there was 110,000 share seller. The, the thing about level four is you could see the consistency, how long he's been out there, and you could see it more of in a heat map. But um, these are things you're going to be, this, these are the tools that you need to be competitive. You know what I mean? You want to sit there and play around with your, you know, your, 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 your whatever you're using. I can't, I don't even want to go on it. Look at some nice, cool little chart or nice newsletter. We're going to be following these guys. All right. Uh, now, um, let me, let me, where, where are we? How much time we got left? Oh, we're running out of time here. Okay. So um, you got to understand something. There's something called the KISS method. Keep it super simple. You don't got to make things complicated. You just got to follow the money. You follow the money, you could do very, very well, but you don't have to make a lot to make it very successful. Do you know if you realize that if you, made, if you bought 1,000 shares of a stock, it moves 50 cents, that's $500 a day. That is literally a six-figure salary right there. Six figures in less than, you know, just trading, you know, 50 cents. You don't have to make a lot of money to make, to make trading very successful. You don't have to make three, four dollars. You just got to get great traders, by the way, never buy at the bottom, sell top. You always buy in between. I don't know if you know that. Now, um, now with that said, um, that didn't seem too hard, right? Imagine watching it live in the market. You have to understand something. I love teaching people. You know, I love more teaching. I love making money doing this. But not a lot of people qualify to do it. And I've done, I've, I've spoken, I've spoken to probably over a million people, okay, in trading. And unfortunately, 95% of them don't qualify to trade. It just, it, for a reason is that they don't want to make the investment. They don't want to do it right. They, 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 uh, Bad habits, you know, there's, a, there's so many different reasons, okay? Um, I don't know if anybody here owns a business, but you don't hire every person that works in the door. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and I'm going to invite all of you to come to my trading room. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to see what's going on. And you're going to see it. And you're going to be shocked. Some of you are going to get it. Some of you are going to like it. Some people will not. And that's okay, all right? But, you know, Cyber Trade University... You know, I, we've been endorsed by more brokerage firms than anybody in the industry. And we're very, and we like keep that endorsement because these brokerage firms watch our traders. And believe me, they don't want people losing money. They want people making money because they'll be a client there forever. By the way, very important that always be endorsed by a brokerage firm. Now in the trading room, um, I started the first live trading room. Everybody here is going to get access to have, uh, to come to my trading room. Now, I don't want you to judge us on our winners. I want you to judge us on the losers because it's the losers that people have a problem with. It's not the winners. The winners take care of themselves. And also something very important. Um, you'll notice in the trading room, we don't tell anybody what to buy and sell. First of all, that's illegal. You can't do that. And number two, it doesn't make you money. We want you to see the other traders and see if they're making money doing it. Okay. We're just there coaching them, telling them, hey, this is moving. That's moving. So I want you to see how it works because before you start going crazy, you want to see what's going on. Now, this is what I'm asking for. I'm going to post a link up there now. And all I'm asking is for $9. That's it. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you come from. I don't know anything about you. Okay, it's a free webinar. But we're going to give you an application to fill out. It costs $9. At the end of the week, if you, could, if you don't want to continue with us, you don't like it, I'll give you $9 back. 
This just lets us know if you're a real person or not. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get access to our trading room. You're going to get three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, a personal education advisor, where you're going to be actually be able to talk to somebody, a live Q&A session, okay, a crash course on trading, and as a bonus for the first 20 people that register, okay, you're going to get a free coaching class. Now, we got almost 200 people in here. They're going to go pretty quickly. Listen, I need to interview you. I want you to see what's going on in the trading room first. And then once you're in the trading room, see what it's all about. And then we'll go from there. Oh, we got a stock that's running in, uh, in, in the room. See, we got traders trading on. Uh, just bring this up right here. They can see what they're trading. Here's a stock right here. H-H-O-L. Look at that. 18 to $20.85. Stock just, just ran. It looks like they just called it out. All right, cool. These are things you guys are going to be seeing. So $9, what do you have to lose for $9? Listen, I lose money at $9. We got to pay $15 minimum wage here in New York, okay? Cost me more money to pick up the phone. Um, if you really want to see what it's all about, click on the link, get access to the trading room. Let me show you how level three works. Let's see what level four works. And most important, let's see what other people are doing. Let's see if they're making money doing it. But please don't trade what we're, what we're trading. We just want to show you what it's like to be on the playing field, what it's like to be on the floor in an exchange, what it's like to put live orders out there, okay? And, and believe me, it's not that complicated. All right, so I got about another minute or so, and then we're going to bring on um, Anka, who's going to take over for me and going to be our next get, uh, speaker here. And by the way, at the end of the present, at the end that, uh, because people are logging in and out, I'm going to do another one, same presentation, repeat it right, uh, right after uh, our last presenter. Fausto, what is the cost if you decide to join after the first week? So if you just, after the first week, if you want to continue, it's $149 a month. And by the way, if you don't want to continue, believe me, we're not going to make you fine over hoops. You don't want to continue. Don't worry about it. I, I got a five-star rating on Google. I don't need to scrutiny. We'll give you money back. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> but You'll see if it's worth it or not. Any other questions um, out there? Any other questions? Uh, One forty nine month. Okay, so yes, if you want to continue after 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 the after the seven days. Um, GC says, "What kind of account size you really need?" Listen, that's the least of your problems right now. Please don't be. You know how much money you need for account size? Nine dollars. Okay, is that is that sound cheap enough? You have nine bucks in your pocket. That's how much money you need. Nine dollars. This is the least of your problems. No, you don't need to hold a brokerage firm. Listen, I told you, we don't want you to trade anything. Don't buy anything. Nothing. We just want you to see if other people like you are successful at day trading because people have a very bad misconception. They say, "Oh, this is the riskiest thing." It's not. It's actually the easiest thing. That's all. Um, you could start whenever you want. You could, um, I recommend you to kind of go through the videos, talk to the education advisor, and then maybe start on a Monday. I mean, to me, I would start tomorrow if you can, but if not, you got to talk to the education advisor first, because we don't want you going to the trading room and being lost. Cause a lot of you are going to be like, okay, what's going on? I don't understand. You know, we take customer service very seriously here. So we want you to make sure number one, you say who you are and number two, make you get the most out of it. 